Well, News 8 is watching the Capitol today where budget negotiations will continue. Lawmakers were in session late into the evening trying to reach a deal in that $40 billion budget proposal. News 8's Ken Pierce is live from News 8 Control with the biggest sticking points and what's being debated here, Kent. Yeah, good morning, Allie and Brian. You know, this time yesterday, the Democrats who control the state assembly thought they had taken care of all of these sticking points, but then three major corporations threatened to leave the state due to tax increases. Here's what the budget means for you so far. Far. If your city or town has a high mill rate, your car tax will go down. This budget would cap the car tax at 30 mills. If you make more than half a million dollars a year, your state income tax will go up. Democrats had planned to raise taxes on corporations, too. But yesterday, those three big employers, GE, Aetna, and the Travelers, said they might leave Connecticut if that happened. So now Democrats are looking at maybe raising the cigarette tax another 50 cents to make up the money that they had counted on making by taxing those corporations. This two-year, $40 billion budget still needs to be approved by both the House and the Senate. The regular session for the State Assembly ends tomorrow at midnight. Will they get it done in time? Stay tuned and find out. We have gone into extra innings in previous years. We might again this year. Live in News 8 Control, I'm Kent Pierce. Brian, over to you. All right.